What's up, Sammy Radix, and good day to all you poor boys RC speedrunners who are checking in on the competition. So last time out, we got 26 miles per hour, and time is running out in this competition, so we need to make a bit of a jump. We were upgrading the car part by part and doing a run just to see how fast we could get it, what the difference would be with um, just making one upgrade what speeds we're getting but the time has come to make a little bit of a jump and add a couple of upgrades this time round. so what we are going to do is we have invested in a new motor untested and it's this thrust b-spec 12 turn motor so we've bought this from model sport and i think it came in at around about 15 pounds and they attached the wires on there as well so you make your choice what type of wires you want and they'll solder it all on and send it out. So it saves you doing the work. So we're going to add this and we're going to put in the 22 tooth pinion as well. So last time out, we ran it on the uh, Firebolt 15 turn motor with a 19 tooth pinion. This time round, we are going to obviously up the pinion size and get a more powerful motor in theory. I am questioning whether we switched the tyres out because the TTO2 speed one car that I've been doing this year, which is up here on the shelf, has its foam contact tyres on. So I'm wondering whether we swap them out and put them onto this to give this a new pair of shoes to see if that makes any difference with hopefully an increase of speed. So I am hoping that we will go over the 30 mile an hour mark now and um, get us away from the bottom of the leaderboard. I have no delusions that I'm going to be anywhere near the top, but I don't really want to be at the bottom anymore. The first scoreboard Sunday came out all those weeks ago and I was right at the bottom, yeah? And I realised that my speeds, my runs, were only going up by two miles an hour or four miles an hour. So now is the time to try and make that jump. So we're going to get this installed and then we'll take it out for a speed run, okay? Okay, so just giving it a test spin in my hand with the new motor, just fitted. And I think I might have to go with the foams. Just look at this for speed. Watch the front tires balloon. You see the thing shaking to bits. This is gonna be very interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to switch to foams. All right, the foams are on and it seems to be much better. So where we had all that shaking. The car seems much more stable because the tires aren't ballooning. So yeah, we're sticking with foams, that's good. Right, next thing is to get this out, do a run and hopefully we're going to break that 30 mile an hour speed limit, uh, speed mark that we're going for. Right, run number six. You can see we're set to zero. Let's get that started. The car has got its 3,300 battery thrust 12 turn brush motor. Let's see what we can do. Last time I ran this, there was a few crashes. This is the second attempt at run number six. So here we go. See what I mean? Now it's probably broken. Yep, battery's come out of the back. Let's see what that actually 
did stop grade 29 miles an hour. Let's see if we can fix the battery back in. I'm going to stick with 29. Um, I'm having terrible luck with these runs on this motor. So 29 is the score for this. I'm going to go search for my body pin because I'm cheap like that. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.